So we'll start with right now. All right, um, button check. Yeah, button check. Mr. Villain versus uh, versus Lamavir. Lamavir. The Mario player from here in the Grill Alley. It's kind of funny because the entire time I've seen I've seen Paul play here in the valley. What? It's um, how do you say? It? He's been growing a lot as a player since recently at the gaming zone tournament. So he managed to beat Zeal FG in the That's good. That's really good. <laughs> I don't know how well he's going to play against Quentin. My hip is very passive. This is going to be... Well, this is a good balance between the two of them, really. Um, but the only thing that concerns me is that Paul does not... Oh, Lama here does not know the... the or he's not accustomed to the Olimar matchup. Honestly, nobody is. There's like three Olimars, period. And I'm uh, hip is arguably yeah, one of the best. Okay. Hmm. Um, you want to start off in a... I'm going to cut that. Um... What? Yeah. What? Uh, and my phone is ringing. Okay. I'm going to leave that aside. Quentin's just saying, I don't care where we go as long as it's not Smashville. Huh? This is it. Okay, game, game one. We're starting with game one. Oh, FD. Um, I can't really say much about it. Honestly, Quentin just didn't want to go to Smashville, so... He's only got one man. It was a good downer to get the Pikmin off of him. I really like that. I wonder if he's gonna do that for the rest of the set. Because if he does, Quentin will key up on it. I'm hit will start punishing. I'm just trying to watch. Oh, and he starts. I did not get to start those I like combos that are practically easy, for, in my opinion, to follow with Mario. Honestly, he's not, but he is winning in percentage, which against an Olimar, especially at low percents, is kind of rare. Yeah, because. Um, once he lands that that white Pikmin, it's, it's, it's a lot of dam um, damage it, it gives. It's not even just the white, it's more that all the Pikmin are stacked up on you and they're all painting the way and Olimar's just nowhere to be hit, so he's not in your range. I also really enjoy how I'm hit right now. He's, he's, he's pressuring them, pressuring him with the Olimars and plus, oh, and that spike. Uh, but as I was saying, he's, he's pressuring with those Olimar and as well taking a lot of damage with them. Yeah. With the pressuring. Because in my opinion, when I'm fighting an Olimar, um, I, I, um, I, I, I get pretty nervous with the, like, seeing the, all the Pikmin on me, especially taking all that damage from the, the blue, yellow, and red, and white mm -hmm. Pikmin. And those snipes. Very nice spacing, spacing from that's, that here. That's and way too high of a he grabbed him with the purple Pikmin, right? Blue Pikmin. Blue oh, Pikmin is the kill throw Pikmin. Oh my. Uh, purple Pikmin's for aerials and smashes. Oh, I do not understand the Pikmin very well. Uh, white has the the most uh, damage over time, and it also has the most pummel for damage. Blue Pikmin's for grabbing. Nice idea on, on keeping those Pikmin back towards him. He, he kicked the forward smash too, I really like that when, uh, when players do that to all of our, because the smash attacks, if they are the Pikmin, they are counted as projectiles. If there's no Pikmin, there's no hitbox. Yeah, and, and it also means that Lamavir is catching on on the matchup. Absolutely. The only thing he's going to have to watch out for is when he gets to 120. And he gets that grab. And he gets that purple grab, especially if Omar gets range. But and that's the uh, end of the game. Sorry. You don't got to worry about it now. Uh, yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> everything we just said is in vain. Yes. And that's game one for Prime Hip. Like what to compare it to, but it's really strong. So we're going, so we're going up on game two. Game two battlefield. Uh, definitely a Mario stage. <coughs> yeah, this stage is like some kind of. Um, it, it pumps up the Mario player, in my opinion. It's like because. The way he can use those platforms, it's, it's, it's very well to his advantage. Absolutely, and he's definitely going to be able to. Well, he has the tools to use them a lot more than I'm Hip does, but we'll see that I'm Hip is, is an excellent player just all around. He doesn't let something like like platforms bother him. He's very diverse. In it. Yeah, he moves around it, which we've seen throughout the entire day. He's just letting that white pigment thing away. So much damage, it's 117 in 40 seconds. And we're trying to notice, oh, and nice tech coming from I'm Hip because if he would have missed it, it's, it's easily a jab lock from, from Lamavir. Definitely. 
it would have been all right at that percent. There's nothing Roman Beer would have done to be to been able to even catch up in percentage at this point. But it would have been a lot better of a punish at this point. Llama Beer should be going for something that's a little bit more guaranteed. He could tech chase on those. He doesn't have to try and get the jab reset on a player of unhits caliber. That really only works if you're if you're and conditioning. I was up there. Up smash. Oh. What? <laughs> uh, no, it's oh. not up there. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I was about to say, myself. am I crazy? I'm about to be crazy. Uh, everyone makes mistakes. Come on, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Watch. Just watch. I love watching Omar's at zero. They, they pick up damage so quick. Grab combos. 41. 17 to 41 to 60. The possibilities are endless. Really. And just like and, that, and he's just just pressuring him off the stage, which is very impressive coming from my mid. Percentages are even. Yeah. Would you say that this is an even match uh, between the two of them, or, you, or an even matchup? I would definitely say that Mario has the advantage in the matchup personally. But I don't know jack about Omar. Ah, uh, me neither. I will say that that Kate along with just how solid Mario is as a character, would probably give him advantage in this. Yeah, since, it, since he's caping, it's a, it's a good option to prevent I'm hip spacing with the, with the Pikmin. Oh, there's the throw. Uh, that's game two. A strong two-star. Uh, uh, point and switching characters. He's comfortable. He wants to get in some more practice. <laughs> He's just practicing for the rest of the bracket. Probably. He want he He was talking to me earlier when uh when we were driving or? down here. Uh, that's a two. I put a three extra on Am I predicting the match? Nah. <laughs> We were talking earlier, he said that uh, that he likes to warm up his secondaries if he feels comfortable in the matchup or if he has games that he could possibly just kind of, not exactly throw, but just he has the, the ability to not win the match. He would rather warm up his secondary than just outright win the match. It prepares him for the rest of the bracket and makes it a lot easier of a fight later on in the tournament. Well, at the moment, as, as I'm looking and I've seen before, um, well, this match, it's, how do you say it, it's, it's going to progress or not, whether or not he, um, Vlamovir is taking advantage of the options he has here at IB Smash for, uh, for, for Duck Cup practice, as we do have a Duck Cup player. Definitely. Um, or if he's friendly with him, oh my. Oh, oh nice he survives. Save the jump. Look like I'm hit, acting like a villain, almost went for it again, though. <laughs> It's very impressive seeing um, players of, of, of high of standings um, just just use each one of the resources very well. Um, just very impressive to watch. There's a lot of air dodge baiting going on from both players right here. I love it. I love the air dodge baits. What I, what I like to see right now is is how he uses those can setups because I'm, I've seen Duckham players in the past and those can setups are, are are simply very impressive. I'm hit definitely has them in his arsenal. Probably not as much, but here's one. Oh, just missed it. Not as much as other Duckham players I've definitely seen, but he is pretty good at those. And he takes a stock. Nice forward smash. It was a good option coverage for him. I'm hit had no option but to land. And now they're both trying to see who approaches first. But, <laughs> uh, but as Duck Hunt is, it has the advantage because they can easily just camp you out with the cans. Honestly, it was just bad situation because Mario pulled out the flood. He was stuck there sitting with the flood in his hand. And the can. Oh, he survives it. Nice DI coming from. Oh, oh, oh there's my the <laughs> I do know it kind of, it messes with every duck hunt, every single duck hunt, if you start kicking around their can like they do. So whenever the can comes to you, throw out a hitbox that's kind of disjointed, or something that you know can hit the can without hurting yourself, and hit that can, so that they, they don't know exactly Basically where it is. Basically just use it against them, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not, even, it's not even that you have to use it against them, it's that if you hit the can away, it's, they didn't really expect, they don't know where it's going to go as well. So they can't use it against you all the time. 
they only use it against you when oh, oh. SG, unfortunate. And that's game. That's that's pretty upsetting to see, but uh, the good thing about it is that Lama Beer still has a chance in the bracket. Absolutely, he just goes on to losers right now. Okay, so next we have Vader versus UMFG. We'll be seeing you guys later on with that.